Pain is a microphone. Isn't that an interesting phrase? Just last week, I was cleaning out my email. I'm not going to tell you how many were in there, because there might be somebody in this room who will get me in trouble. I was cleaning out my email, and I came across that phrase, and it just jumped out at me. One reason it jumped out at me is that I happen to love microphones. From as early as I can remember, I wanted to be a singer and an actress. When I was in, oh, around 12 years old, I specifically chose my curling iron by how much the cord reminded me of a microphone cable so that I could dance around my room singing to Olivia Newton-John and Karen Carpenter to the eight tracks that my dad bought me at a garage sale down the street. The first word in that phrase jumped out at me. Well, because life just doesn't often go as we planned, does it? The great words of the philosopher John Lennon, he says, life is what happens while we're busy making other plans. Pain is a microphone. When I read that, my mind wandered back through the punctuations of pain in my own life. I feel like I actually don't need to hardly tell you because my bio was so long in that introduction that I feel like you all know me already. I'm totally embarrassed. I have to, Casey, you have to cut that. <laughs> Somehow on the paper it didn't look as long, but I'll, I'll give you a few highlights anyway. Um, first thing that came into my mind, like I said before, I was determined to be a singer. This wasn't a passing hobby. I graduated from high school early, pursued music wholeheartedly for about 10 years, made my living that way. When I was about 25 years old, my husband at the time and I found out that we were pregnant. Not in my plan, because I had plans of world domination and that did not fit. But I adjusted, I got used to it, I got excited about it. Ate organically, played Mozart to my belly, gained just the right amount of weight. Got around, I thought, oh, she's going to go on the road with me, this will be just great. Well, when she was born, it didn't take long before we realized that there was something that wasn't right. She was born with a rare genetic condition called Pierre-Robin syndrome. So she had no soft or hard palate at all. Behind her front gums was just open up to her skull. Her eustachian tubes and sinuses were severely deformed. She was legally deaf. And they were telling me at the time that she was likely to have severe developmental delays. Now, to put this in perspective, I was living in a studio warehouse, and my only kitchen appliances, I had a microwave and a 1950s refrigerator I had painted purple metallic with flames. So let's just say that I was not Susie Homemaker. Uh, this really, it was a blow to me. Second thing that punctuated my thoughts when I heard that phrase, pain is a microphone. About a year ago, my husband of nine years, February, or about actually more like April 2014, he'd had this chronic back pain for some time. We couldn't get to the bottom of it. Finally ended up in the emergency room one night. Didn't take him long to tell us that he had had metastasized melanoma that was spread throughout his entire body. All of his organs, spine, hip bones were actually fractured from the onset of the disease. He fought hard, uh, but he, he only lived about eight months. We're coming up on the first anniversary of his death on November 15th this year. Second thing that punctuated my thoughts when I heard that phrase, pain is a microphone. About a month ago, Valley Fire in Lake County, the house that my husband and I had bought in the month we got married, along with our St. Bernard, our Basset Hound, and our big Russian blue cat, was all lost in the Valley Fire, and I wasn't able to get home in time to do anything about it. Pain is a microphone. Now, when this first story I told you about, and of course there's many more little things throughout our lives, I wasn't very resilient. I didn't have a great attitude. Um, I considered my life over at the time. But as we get older, we mature, we grow. Now at 46 years old, I can stand in front of you and declare that in my own life, Pain has been a powerful gift that I certainly never asked for, but I do my very best not to ignore it. The Bible promises that we will have trouble in this life, John 16, 33, but those trials open doors that would otherwise remain closed. Pain provides a microphone, a platform, and perhaps there's no time in our lives when we, as individuals and as an organization like Adventist Health, 
that we are more powerful than when we choose to reach out in love and stand in strength in the midst of pain. I am passionate about bringing transformation to Lake County. We, are the poorest, we have the poorest city in the state of California. We have the poorest health outcomes for our citizens in the state of California. Now, I would not have chosen to lose my home to fire, but I will tell you that it has provided me a microphone around the community to rally support and momentum like never before. I can tell you that Adventist Health has truly been a shining beacon of God's love in that community, comparing to no other organization in the county. Within a week, the Valley Fund was implemented. Many of you in this room, you altered your schedules to make that happen. Many of you in this room contributed funds out of your own pocket to that fund. Somewhere in this room right now could be the very person that input the information for my disbursement check. The day that came, it was a real blessing to me. I, ha I owned my home, I have insurance, but it takes a while for those wheels to turn. So we're a few weeks into this. I haven't received a dollar. I'm trying to get into a new rental house. My college-age daughter, she finally hit her stride in school, and now she's lost her laptop and her textbooks. So I'm rushing out. I'm trying to purchase, and you know how much that costs. That's the day that check came for me. So believe me, at that time in my world, that check was an example of living the mission of Adventist Health by sharing God's love just as much as a nurse standing by a bedside supporting a patient. My life, my world, my daughter, we were blessed, we were impacted, our hearts were encouraged, we caught a glimpse of hope, and I am so grateful. I'm only one person. I have to read to you another story. This is an email that came in after another employee received her Valley Fire donation check. This donation was more than just money, it was more than a house. That donation was an example to my daughter that her mother can overcome a major tragedy, that her mother is a fighter, and there are people who believe in her, and that no matter what, if you put hard work into something, it will come back to you. That donation gave my 11-year-old autistic son new surroundings that he can rely on time and time again, and feel comfortable knowing that he has a home to go to when he is with me. More than anything, that donation allowed me to breathe again. It allowed me to get my feet underneath me so I can start to feel normal again. Adventist is a wonderful company that I will always call my home. I will be forever grateful. Pain is a microphone. When I'm suffering personally, it's so easy for me to look inward focusing exclusively on my own sorrow and pain. But when I do that, I'm missing the opportunity to experience the boost in volume that comes from being willing to raise my head and serve others right in the midst of the fire. And I mean that literally and figuratively. There's no one in this room that is without, heart work, without heartbreak. I could sit across from each of you and look into your eyes and you can tell me your stories, and mine are no worse. We're all there in some way, shape, or form. I encourage you, look at the heart shapes you might be facing in your own life and believe that through them, God wants to open up opportunities that otherwise would remain shut. I want to leave you with one phrase, and I'm going to read it twice because I really want it to sink in. Suffering is not an obstacle to God doing great things through you. In fact, it's an opportunity to be used like never before. One more time. Suffering is not an obstacle to God doing great things through you. In fact, it's an opportunity to be used like never before. Thank you.